Yeah, so my origins are more in uh, actually my father was a Sarod player. He used to play Sarod, and he uh, has been in music. He was in the business side of music after that for a long time. In fact, he was one of the founders of the whole independent record label thing uh, with Times Music. So when he used to play Sarod and all that, he was always wanting to get me into music, and I was not that interested back then. But he got me. He gave me a great, great blessing that he got me started with the tabla. So as a result, what happened was that I got very much, I got a lot of clarity with regard to rhythm. And you know, like nowadays when anybody, now that I'm a composer and I'm doing this full time, I'm making my bread and butter through music, I'm not at all bothered about my rhythm and hence arrangements and flipping things around and taking a different take on a world rhythm or a Western rhythm or an Indian rhythm comes very naturally to me. So that was the uh, that's I was lucky to start off on the tabla, and then later I got into playing guitar. Again, I my father uh, put a guitar teacher uh, uh, to get me started on the Western instrument, which was great. Again, and uh, as a result, there was a great. Uh, so there is at the core of it all there is um, music. I was really influenced by my dad. You know, uh, my, I remember my childhood, and I remember my. Uh, the memories that I have is of getting up in the morning and listening to his riyas every day. Uh, I also come from a musical family. Uh, all of them are into music. And uh, so music started off very early. And all these compositions which, which we sing with the band are actually have been part of uh, our family for a very long time. You know? So music happened early, but the training, I don't know. I don't know how much because I've learned some from my dad. Some some music from my uncle and then from Bhavdi Jaipur Wale. Uh, but training hasn't happened actually, you know. Uh, the kind of training that uh, I would have wanted ideally to sing, say, pure classical. Uh, it's it's still in the light classical zone. I, I always wanted to be a musician, I always wanted to be a singer. But somehow uh, that didn't happen during college. And uh, I got sucked in uh, because, sucked into theatre actually because there were some lovely teachers and uh, and theatre was very cool, it was very cool to be part of if you were, if you were part of St. Xavier's you know. So, so music somehow took a back seat at that point of time and then music came back into my life because of a play called Stories in, Stories in a Song. He met me because of a film and at that point of time I was doing a lot of uh, shows of the play which he had already seen. I met him, I had a few compositions in mind and we just started working together, that's it. So I met him and then you know, we, we, it just clicked, something clicked. He liked what I had done with the arrangement and I liked what the, the simplicity of his voice and uh, we started meeting often and we just started meeting not with an agenda, that was the beauty of it. Like we took almost uh, a one and a half years to start thinking of recording. And that's the beauty of Bombay, I feel, you know, collaboration is always welcome here. People don't uh, ask you questions about what have you done before this and all that. They start with an open mind. We've crossed that stage of just looking exotic and playing exotic sounds and saying this is Indian music and, you know, like it's very raw, it's very rural, it's very this, that. Either we just present folk music or we present something new. Wearing the clothes that we wear right now and having the attitude that we have as normal people. You don't need to put on an act for that. So uh, that's something that I was always wanting to do and yet present a very uh, beautiful new canvas of music that is rooted in Indian culture, that has got a story to tell. There are so many aspects that we are, again, subconsciously trying to bring out. We're not trying to establish a Sufi genre or a poetry genre or a ghazal genre, nothing like that. We're trying to bring out a lot of stories from Indian culture, which we have found in each other's, you know, upbringing and stuff like that. And the stories are in the music of a culture or in the food of a culture. I think that's where the stories are from. For example, there's, there's a poem, okay? And I, we talk about the, the poet, Munir Niazi for that, for that matter. We are, we'll be singing some poems of him in the show. For us, it's important that this, that the audience comes hears the poem, gets affected and if they go home and they if they search Munir Niazi's name on Google and they look, look it up, I think we would have been successful. 
Yeah, basically yes. Bringing back the words yeah. to to music, you know, where I am not only listening to the music, but the music is helping me to listen to the words. And what is the poet saying? And what what mood is he trying to evoke in me? And it can be anything. It could be it's happiness. Open. Yeah, it's, it's open. It's, it's, it's really open. You know, it could be happiness for you. It could be sadness. It artist wants to give a message beyond a point like everybody has a kind of communication they want to pass on and you need to uh, mature a little bit before you do that 
right? So I think in this case, it's great. We already have, we already on a canvas of interpretations where we can create a little bit of originality as well and have uh, put out a body of work where people hopefully gain some kind of yeah. respect for us. And then we can get into our messages, which are purely from our side, which we want to communicate.